Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The media in the courthouse. There are so many pending cases against journalists and media companies right now that it's causing real concern among media lawyers. You remember, in some ways, Gawker opened the door to this new era of litigation. That's when wrestling personality Hulk Hogan was awarded millions and millions of dollars after Gawker published portions of a sex tape he was in that resulted in the eventual shutdown of Gawker. Now, there are a number of other suits we want to talk about, including this one. Suspended Fox News anchor uh, host Eric Bowling, suspended due to allegations covered by the Huffington Post. Uh, columnist Yashar Ali wrote about how Bowling allegedly sent lewd, inappropriate messages to colleagues several years ago. Yeah, Ali had 14 sources for his story. It was published and then... He's trying to essentially intimidate those who would perhaps investigate this further. It's worth noting that HuffPost, uh, which wrote the, uh, commi commissioned and published the story by Ali, says they stand by him, and HuffPost is owned by Verizon. So that's a deep-pocketed uh, supporter that Ali has in his, in his corner. But uh, I think Bowling is trying to Trump-like. He's a Trump friend, a Trump supporter. Trump-like, trying to say, you know, brashly, this isn't true, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the pain to you for uh, inflicting this uh, reputational damage on wanting to loosen the libel laws to make it easier to sue news organizations. Is that what we're seeing now? Well, look, there's this great documentary out I was briefly interviewed for uh, called Nobody Speak. About it's on Netflix. The, it's great. It's on Netflix, right. And it, it takes us its point of uh, uh, departure, the Terry Bollea Hulk Hogan lawsuit against Gawker, just as you mentioned. There are some uh, lines that are connected here. Peter Thiel, a strong Trump advocate, spoke at the convention, really turned out to be behind the scenes funding uh, Bollea's uh, suit against uh, Gawker. Uh, you, you, you've seen elements in which uh, uh, Sarah Palin, another uh, you know sort of Trump supporter and sort of a, a pre Trump figure in some ways in terms of her bashing right. the press during her right. vice presidential run in 2006. She's suing the New York Times now. Their editor-in-chief, is uh, excuse me, uh, editorial page editor, James Bennett, will be testifying. Yeah, that's going to be uh, remarkable that's, to that's see that in a few That's an astonishing thing to, 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 to learn of, and Let's he's going to be held accountable. Let's put the on screen of those other cases. Palin versus the New York Times is one of them. Another is John Oliver and HBO being sued by a coal company CEO for some stuff Oliver said on last week tonight. And then this week we learned Disney had to pay at least $177 million huge amount. in a, this pink slime case. This was a lawsuit. Uh, this was a court proceeding uh, in, up in the Dakotas. It was settled by Disney before it could uh, reach its conclusion. So Disney, I suppose, paid that money because they believed a jury might force them to pay even more. Well, they were extraordinarily uh, favorable uh, state, and I believe they are essentially food defamation laws uh, up there that made it so that the exposure for Disney, for ABC News' parent company, would have been enormous had they not paid, nonetheless, 177 million right. could have been billions a staggering staggering sum i think in some ways we have to disaggregate fox news from the others right fox uh, is being sued by rod wheeler uh, you broke the news about rod wheeler's suit alleging that he was uh, misquoted in a seth rich conspiracy story right and in basically being misquoted in a way that propelled to seeming credibility these completely discredited so far conspiracy theories involving seth rich and the leaks of uh, dnc emails to wikileaks uh, what happened in fox in some ways uh, is that specific story but it's also also an outcrop of the scandal that has reverberated ever since July 2016, uh, the sexual harassment uh, claim filed against uh, the late Roger Ailes, then the chairman of Fox News. There have been a series of lawsuits, some of which are still pending right. against the network, against the late Roger Ailes, but also against some of the executives who were there at the time, some of whom are still there. So, you know, I don't think Donald Trump went on the campaign trail to say, I want to loosen the libel laws, I want to take it to the press <laughs> as a way of punishing Fox News, uh -huh. uh, you know, That's which right. has turned out to be one of his strongest uh, corners of support as his public popularity has eroded. Right. David, thanks for being here. You bet.